Hey Sagittarius, River Rika here, reporting for duty on a trigger. Thank you so much for shuffling states of emergency into adoption spirit magic with us and steering clear of danger. Heartily, we are grateful. In this session, we are exploring what may help us move forward in the highest love and light this June 2023. But before that, some disclaimers. I am not a doctor, lawyer, therapist, I'm a fortune teller. So what I offer is no substitute for their services. Furthermore, what I share does not determine your future. Only your intentions and actions do. So please use your gifts of discernment before deciding what you gather and take away from this reading. And of course, take only what resonates and blow like a kiss the rest back to the universe for cosmic composting and to beauty. This reading is intended for fun and games, for shits and giggles, for entertainment, for flexing our heart, mind, body, soul, spirit, intuition, and emotions. And at the least, I hope to cause harm to none. And at the most, I hope I may assist you on your healing path. All that said, let's move on. If you're thinking this was labradite, you were correct. And one word associated with that, I would say, is transformation. But I invite you to explore on your own the metaphysical properties of labradite. Four or five or six or seven or 27 different sources because we are all salud different psychosocial science experiments and what works for some may not work for another. What resonates for one may not resonate for another. So I enjoy inviting you to explore on your own about the metaphysical properties of labradite or anything else you experience here, like this shaker, and the use of sound to help clear the space and streaming grace to replace. And this is a playful tool that's right, that's why we're here to help pull through, because the loss and trauma can be so challenging. We want to play. And also ring in the bell to help clear the space and streaming grace to replace. And I invite you to hold the intention of seeing only love. And only love we shall see. And here we go. Ready? Mind, body, speech, and perfect oneness. I send my heart along with the sound of the bell. May hearers awaken from forgetfulness and transcend all anxiety and sorrow. Om. Peace. Shanti. Thank you. Thank you, Sagittarius. So much. So sweet. There we are. There we are. So we are working with the Living Altar today in this session. The Living Altar. It's one of the only Romani decks in circulation that I am aware of. And this is by... Brilliant Kiki Robinson and Ilva Droma Marzana Radzesuski. And you may find out more about them at thelivingaltar.com. Their podcast, Alters Up Witches. You may also find them on Instagram. I shall try to remember to leave details in the description, but also quadruple check on your own. And you may also, you may also enjoy taking in the Romanistan podcast, the Halloween episodes, where the Romanistan podcast creator and her co-host Paulina Verminski and Jessica Reedy invited Kiki and Ilva over to share spooky Halloween stories. And so they came over and shared a story about the making of this deck of cards. Yes, yes, yes. So you may enjoy taking in that and also the Romanistan podcast creator Paulina Verminski is being featured in a current LA Times podcast every Tuesday called Foretold and then the Romanistan podcast is doing a debriefing after each Tuesday episode so you may join those circles 
and help hold the safe sound space to move forward and ease and grace and wisdom and love and joy and peace in our hearts. Thank you so much. So yeah, Sagittarius, let's see what June 2023 has in store for you, what may help you move through June 2023 in the highest love and light, not in your business, rather. That's what we're looking at. And Sagittarius, you are a whole, full, loving, powerful, spiritual being as well as I. And we thank your source, spirit, team, angels, galaxy guides, ancestors, saints, sages, gods, goddesses, universes here in the highest love and light as well as mine. And we thank your source and my source for immediately shifting the situations into what they need to be, offering necessary insights, healings, acts of grace, protection. Heartily, we are grateful. So it was, and so it was, and so it was, and so it was, and so it is, and so it was. Thank you for making this reading abundantly clear. What Sagittarius, what may help Sagittarius move through June 2023 in the highest love and light. Thank you. Heartily we are grateful. Oops. Sorry. Oops. Sorry. Oops. Sorry. I went off the screen. Apologizing if I went off the screen. Sagittarius, balsamic moon, how beautiful. How beautiful. Wow. The deep, deep green. It's almost gray or black, charcoal. And the reds and the beautiful moon with the designs in it. it almost looks like paisleys and everything associated with that. Didn't they originate in India? along with the Ramani. And these beautiful images, the starfish, it's almost like a sun. The scallops reminds me of the Venus shell of love, all this different energy imagery. What comes up for you? Please feel free to leave in the comments. It will be so interesting to hear how you see things. So thank you. If that is your bag, and if not, that's cool, that's cool. If it's not, that's cool. So these readings are split into three pieces that you can come back to at any time this month or this year or whenever you're seeing this. You don't have to get it all right now, in other words. So to help you relax into this reading, you know that there's three parts that you can come back to at any time. And here we go. The Witch's Wheel Correspondence. Earth, winter, north, elderhood, soul harvest, midnight, boundaries, identity, relationship, resource. <clears throat> Pardon me. So beautiful pieces to contemplate with that witch's wheel correspondence that you can come back to at any point to help that activate or integrate or help embody that. And here's the spell. <coughs> Pardon me. Oh, before I jump into the spell, boundaries, identity, and relationship are jumping out at me and all the boundary work that orphans and adoptees have done uh, under a lot uh, quite a few of us under the pressure of violated boundaries and then having to or feeling ourselves in a position to need to re renegotiate those boundaries to maintain our health and our integrity and then identity is one of the cards that every human is dealt in overcoming loss and trauma not just the orphan and the adoptee so this identity card and how that shifts through life like for the orphan and adoptee as these boundaries change, as these adoption fairy tales shift, the whole identity shifts. So not only the boundaries shift, but the whole identity shifts. And those of you who have been going through that process of that dismantling and rebuilding, you know more of what I speak. Those of you who have been coming out of the fog. And then there's some of you who are thinking about it 
and and so you can know more that that might be something that you can be prepared for and to plan accordingly to make space for that and to honor that shift and to just really revel in it because wow how beautiful and how strong like the caterpillar cocooning up and turning into the butterfly just tremendous so much goes into that like thank you thank you for being so strong and so brave and courageous as to do that work and big hugs for <laughs> all the i'm laughing it's not even funny but big hugs because you went through all that like to say it's not easy is a big understatement like dark night of the soul might be more accurate and so big hugs for for being so courageous and strong even though Thank you, thank you for helping create this new earth. So here's the spell. I rejoice in the heartbreaks of moments past and embrace their release, emboldened by the ecstatic gift of sacrifice. I expand into new depths of my capacity to build, to destroy, to be broken, to rise, and to build again. I surrender to the space between what was and what is becoming. I allow this space to neutralize my regrets and normalize nostalgia. I affirm that I am free from the pain of past heartbreak and the obligation to past success. As what I have co-created is devoured by the hunger of the world, I now realize what it is to sacrifice. To continue forward with hope, I must release the names I have answered to in the past. My sacrifice is the foolish surrender of moving on. Soul tired and sacred, I am showered in the blessings of wisdom. Raw and formless, I am cloistered by the beauty of death. I find sanctuary in completion. I rest in the graveyard of my memories. I am comforted by the glimmering possibilities whispering through my dreaming. So intense, so intense, Sagittarius, but also so is what you have gone through to get to where you are now with the dismantling that has been done. And what a beautiful spell to help honor that work. So super sweet. So you can lean into that and rest in that. And this, what a sweet gift to explore this June and also throughout the rest of the year or whenever you are viewing this message. So the guided message, sorry, the guiding messages. Rest while the void emerges. There are winds of change stirring. Where will they take you? Turn from what was move towards potential yes yes i was just saying that rest you can rest in what you have done and and as what is coming out of the void emerges like some of you are at that spot where you have walked away from the adoption fairy tales danced away from the adoption fairy tales and perhaps there's this void that next step hasn't been shown yet and so trust just rest that's a time to rest. Trust that it's time to rest and what a beautiful time to rest in so many different places of the world. And even if the places in the world where you are experiencing difficulties, you can perhaps find some sanctuary in your own mind and in your own heart and, and big hugs for what you are experiencing and just know that we're helping hold your space, helping you hold your space as you wish, as you want. And if that's not something you want, then we're respecting that as well, but just honoring you where you are and where you want to go next. And so, yes, this is a big, big, big turning point. And the sun in Gemini is shedding light on this, turning away from what was and moving towards potential and being able to honor what was steps along the way instead of feeling that bitterness or regret or anxiety or you fill in the blank being able to let that go and honor what was and move towards potential what a beautiful sweet message Sagittarius and you know that 
Gemini also. The sun is in Gemini right now, shedding that light, and that's the opposite of us and something we can balance in and help us temper ourselves is to explore that Gemini and the June reading what we have for you here. And that is what I am seeing for you. Sagittarius, thank you so much for helping breathe life into adoption spirit magic. Heartily, we are grateful. Until next time, ciao for now. I love you all.